I haven't heard. We'll have to yeah, ask maybe the, uh, uh, we can ask. Do, you know if, do we know if the draw is going to be updated anywhere? Anybody? All right. We don't know right now. We'll try to find out. There are some issues with the website. Uh, the guard is over So we're here, not sure. So if we can figure out a way to get it updated and post it somewhere, we will. But uh, otherwise, what we'll do tomorrow is we'll try to get a copy of where people are, and we'll try to uh, announce that tomorrow night. Jason's just calling for the freeze on the second shot rock instead of taking it out. That's strange, considering that he was willing to take it out when there was a guard there. But now, but now not willing to take it out when there's nothing there. Now he's calling for the hit. I think he's worried he's going to jam on the back, but I wouldn't worry about that right now. He says he'd have four rocks sitting there. Yeah, he'd be sitting at least three. We're going to listen in. All right. Up. Oh, they changed. They decided not to. All right. We were going to try to listen in on the decision making, but uh, they must have made their decision already. Looks like they're making the. They're going to make the hit. Yeah, definitely. All right. He's outside though. It's a little wide. You can pick it through that hole. Maybe. Yeah. He's getting it. All right, so now they've got two, three rocks in the, two rocks no. in the four foot, right? I think they're sitting two. Yeah, it's two close. Rocks. Yeah, yeah so they're, they're sitting second two. Second shot, second and third. But also fourth. No, I think they're second, third, and fifth. They're second, third, and fourth. No, that's fifth rock. They're, right they're, they're first, third, and fourth. They're first, third, and fourth. Okay. <laughs> Joe. All right. Oh, no. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. One, one, two, three, four. That's five. That's six. They're one. That's not a rock. Uh. Oh, yeah, jammed. Yeah, oh, I didn't see that. that's the problem. All right, so here's the situation. Mike is looking at something that isn't a rock. That's because our paint is the same color as our stone. So <laughs> what you're seeing is, I believe... Uh, they're one, three. Scott five. is one three and five. March Telly is two and four. They're drawing. But this is over curling too. Wow. There's a lot of curl on this ice right now. Yeah, he's crashing on a, a guard that really shouldn't have been playing at all. Pumping it in, but uh, that's not going to be a factor unless something drastically changes in this end. So Scott has an opportunity to sit three if he makes this hit and sit. I think he might be out of range to, for the wireless right now. Why don't you pump it up as he w comes back, though, see what he tells the sweepers. Just get inside and tuck. Yeah. Yeah, just normal, I think. Okay, so they're going to throw a normal weight takeout. And they aren't touching it. They might sweep. want to, though. The consensus in the room go. is to sweep. Are they losing it? They did lose it. Oh, my goodness. Oh! And a chance for the tick at the very end, and it's a flash. So uh, Marchitelli has a chance to do something with those two rocks in the forefoot. Yeah. He can and he's calling for a draw right to the button. That's kind that's of an odd call. Especially, yeah, it gives an open double for Jason for the hammer. Joe, yeah. time out here. We have shorts on she day. Shorts on she day. Oh my goodness, there are two shorts, two pairs of shorts on she day. Mengel, we found your new team. <laughs> we on she day, Potomac has uh, two players wearing shorts. Normally, that's I've only seen two other players wear shorts in my life. One plays vice for me. Seventy-one sixty-six. 
All right, so this is a much better draw than the last one. It's not going to, it shouldn't crash on any guards. The question is, is it uh, got enough weight to get where he wants to go and doesn't? He's going to touch the uh, Scott Rock. And did he pump it out enough? No. Still, still a hit and stick for three for Jason. Yeah, still a hit and stick for three. The, the rock is totally open, but you're going to want to play a control weight on this. But it's better to be wide than narrow because you don't want to bump yeah, the arrows in. So. Wide you get two. Narrow you might give up one or take one. Okay, tidy URL, tidy URL, tidy URL. I hate you. Stop clogging up our chat. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. And with the hammer is Jason Scott. Weight's good. I would, might want to clean this. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, just oh. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, he hit it enough for two. Oh, wow. Enough yep. for two. So, two blue. And, yeah, they uh, squeezed just enough of it out for two. So, they got uh, a five to two lead after three. Why don't we look at the uh, team stats, Joe? All right. Let's take a look at the team stats. Uh, wow. As All of right. right now, Team Marchitelli is shooting 32.3%. Jason Scott's team is shooting 53.1%. Yeah, that's... Eric, uh, Eric's playing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, Eric Schmidt's having a good game at second. Dan Bliss wishes he was drinking. <laughs> All right, so, you know, uh, that happens sometimes. Joe Calabrese. Hey, War Machine. <laughs> Tuning in from Schenectady. How you doing? All right, so... Who, who are we sponsored by? This that's end, a good Joe. question. All right, well, this then is bright being brought to you by Lady Gaga's Meat Mart. For all your quality wearable meat needs, pick Gaga's Meat Mart. By the way, these fake sponsors are only here because no one actually sponsors this. If you want to sponsor us, you can let us know. And I and then the joke will end. You're getting tortured because you will not sponsor this. Just letting you know. All right, so. Beautiful center guard by Ron Turk. Yeah, another center guard. Was that, was that the call? I missed the call because I, I was doing my lady. My God, my God. <laughs> Little clapping in the room. What's that? Yes. All right, so Marchitelli looking to come around that guard. Looks a little heavy. That's a little wide. It's not curling the way they, they want it to. Just you know, uh, on the T line, but not buried at all. Uh, uh, War Machine, yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, take what's on the website as the draw necessarily. There was a change late tonight. I'm not sure what the change was yet. I do know it involves um, the team that Graziano's playing uh, because we have to change. Where's Pinter from? Where's the team you're playing from? No, no where, who are the you playing? The team you're playing against. Potomac. Alright, so uh, you might be right. Schenectady may not have a team play till tomorrow. We're not sure, but uh, that may be the way it is. We had a, a change late in the draw. Ron is wide on his takeout. So now is he going to draw a second one in, or is he going to guard up the rock that they have? What would you do here, being down three? Oh, I'd throw another one in. Yeah. Force, you know, you know, force the takeout. You know the Mike Mangle theory. Yeah. Put rocks in play, make them hit them out. Looks like he was just going for the draw, or the guard. Yeah, this one, they're they're getting over. It'll be a nice guard. Yeah, it's a nice guard. I would have thrown another one in. 
maybe split the house a little bit, but. This looks like a shot you like. It's a run back. I love the run back. What's that? I, I would hope that that was short. Yeah. Uh, Caitlin asked if the Ron Turk's first shot was short. We think it must have been. I don't. I doubt uh, Jason playing with a three-point lead would have called that. Yeah. Hold on. This level, a lot of people still play the center guard. So well, but I had talked to him earlier before the game, and he had talked about trying to play it open. So um, it's surprising to me that that happened in the first end too, and they wound up getting a bunch, but mm. that wasn't what the plan was. Oh man, this is all over the guard. Missed his Brock. That's okay. Hit the other. It splits open. They get hammering this over to a corner guard. So now uh, it opens it up. At least was useful. Yeah. Well, it's useful for uh, Marchitelli. Marchitelli wouldn't mind opening. He's got a hammer. I know. All right, so they're going to try to come around this skirt. Whoa, that is some narrow ice. That is very narrow. I don't. Maybe he knows something about his uh, intern that we don't. Nope. <laughs> nope. They, he might come around the corner guard here. Maybe that he was the call. Come between. Except it's kind of. Uh, they can get a wick off of the corner they guard. Might get, this might work out perfect if they play it right. Get the wick off the corner guard. Look at this. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> That'll work. Great call by the skip. I have no idea how to. How do you score that one? Yeah, I do not uh, have pictures from Graziano's team now. Uh, well, you, you got it. If you can get them, one. we he can something. give them to Brian. All right. All right, so the takeout's coming from Eric Schmidt. Eric's having a good game. This isn't bad. He, he is got shot. Oh. oh, just misses the double. So that's a four. And uh, so it leaves Marchitelli still sitting one. He's planning on playing a hit and roll. Now, we've noticed Mark has had this flip on his intern, so we'll see if he comes in inside again. Yeah, I would say he did, but... Now they did a little push outside to counteract the flip. All right. And it's a straight side, so he can get away with it. The question is, is he going to jam on the back? Mm, nope. No, nice shot. Nice, nice hit and roll. <laughs> we have people um, commenting on what we ought to be scoring these shots. So uh, the shot that was the wick in... We got either a one or a two. This should be what the shot was. I agree with that. Yeah. Maybe a two. All right, so we got, uh, oh, boy, this is narrow. This is real narrow. They're going to clip the guard for sure. Yeah. All right, so now it's wide open. Yeah, this gives Marchitelli a chance to uh, get back in the game. He's talking about putting up a guard. You could just put another one in. The way this game is going, I might just put another one in. <laughs> I'd put another one. Like I said, at this level, yeah. throw stones into the house. Make people make hits. Yeah, I'd maybe put one over behind uh, as you're looking from behind. What? <laughs> yeah. People get lucky. Yeah, so yeah. we've determined that the five and under strategy should be throw it into the house and force the other team to actually hit something. But we'll see when we get to s when we we get two teams that know what they're doing. And yeah, but once you reach the quarterfinals, you might have to adjust. But right. before then, but this works out perfect. This is it's guarding a shot. It's still in. This is fine. Now he uh, Scott's forced to play a double, a slash double. He won't be able to hold a shooter. I see a Mike Mangle triple there, but please. Yeah. All right. So takeouts away. Sticking. And uh, they stuck it. So their second shot. Forcing Marchitelli to play on it. 
keep his three in play. Well, you, uh, you see more. I think I need to give you a little more ice on that first one. Oh, 